When you bought a basic budget car a decade ago, that is exactly what you got. Cars like the Volkswagen City Golf and Toyota Taz come to mind, inducing a shudder with their archaic technology and miserly specification levels. They were cheap, but not really cheerful. Nowadays, though, automakers are striving to give cash strap buyers a little bit of everything without breaking the bank, and it's a balancing act that the new Renault Sendero pulls off quite nicely. Sandero had no styling virtues to speak of. It was as insipid as cold tea, something that the tweeting youth would describe as a hashtag fail. This new one is more grown up, however, sporting Renault's new facial DNA, which they describe as warm and sensual. And as a 20-something upstart myself, I wouldn't mind being seen in this car. There is one engine choice available in the Sandero lineup and that is the 900cc turbocharged engine that we first experienced in the pretty Clio. It produces 66 kilowatts and 135 newton meters of torque. Now Renault likes to wax lyrically about the numerous Formula One inspired technologies in this engine. The piston skirts for example are coated with graphite to reduce friction and also wear and tear. It is a willing performer but constant shifter work is needed to keep the momentum up especially in the stop and go conditions of the city. When you really thrash it, it makes a really hearty three cylinder growl which puts us in mind of a cheerful puppy. Up at these altitudes, it certainly has an edge over its normally aspirated competitors. But of course, economy is the priority here and you can actually achieve close to Renault's claimed consumption figures of 5.2 litres per 100 kilometres. There's even a special eco mode if you're serious about saving fuel. Overall, the Sendero feels surprisingly sure-footed and features like standard cruise control means it's quite adept at munching the miles comfortably. And assuringly, they haven't skimped on the safety features. This range-topping Dynamite model has four airbags, anti-lock brakes, electronic brake force distribution, and traction control, which a lot of its competitors don't have. It even has hill start assist, which those still mastering the art of clutch control are going to love. As a former Renault owner, I'm all too familiar with the quality issues that used to plague them. My old Modus was quite similar to playing with Lego, but things have changed and this new Sendero compared to its predecessor is a lot more refined. There are no scratchy plastics or exposed metal pieces anymore. My only two gripes are these silver trim bits on the dashboard which create quite a glare in the sunlight and these seats which could offer better rump support. Although the list of standard features is quite extensive. You get Bluetooth, a USB port, cruise control with a speed limiter and electric windows for all in addition to the stuff like air conditioning and of course power steering. Rear space is fair and even the center passenger gets a three point safety belt. Boot capacity is rated at 292 liters which you can extend by folding the seats down. At 141,500 Rand, it's undoubtedly a lot of car for the money and to allay any concerns around reliability, they throw in a five year 150,000 kilometer warranty. The grown up new Sendero feels a bit more accomplished than its alternatives like the Volkswagen Polo Vivo and the Toyota Etios. Bear in mind though that the French Revolution didn't happen overnight. <laughs> 